Season 1 of Yellow Jackets opens in the year 1996 and follows an all-girl high school soccer team whose plane crashes in the wilderness while flying to a national tournament. With the team's coach Martinez dying in the crash and assistant coach Ben Scott needing his leg amputated, the high school girls are left to survive without any adult help. And a flash forward reveals that the surviving girls will all eventually serve a mysterious masked leader amongst them known as the Antler Queen and turn to cannibalism to survive. But before we get to that, we watch as the Yellow Jackets are forced to adjust to their new home in the wilderness. Team Captain Jackie quickly takes charge to help her friends and teammates survive, but the popular girl isn't as powerful in the wilderness as she was in the halls of her high school. Meanwhile, the team's bullied equipment manager Misty becomes a vital member of the team, putting her survival skills to work. Feeling appreciated for the first time, Misty secretly destroys the plane's emergency transmitter to continue living in adoration. Misty also takes a romantic interest in Ben, who constantly rebuffs her advances. The team eventually discovers an abandoned cabin containing a dead body, a gun, and a large supply of ammo. Teammate Nat and the coach's eldest son Travis prove to be the most adept at shooting, and the two bond as they begin hunting deer to provide food for the group. Also striking up a romance are teammates Thaisa and Van, who is later viciously attacked and scarred by a pack of wolves. The team also discovers an abandoned aircraft, but when a team member named Laura tries to pilot it to bring help, the plane explodes. Meanwhile, Shauna discovers that she is pregnant, having slept with her best friend Jackie's boyfriend Jeff before the crash. Shauna keeps her baby's father a secret, not wanting to ruin her friendship with Jackie. And then there's Lottie, who runs out of her medication for schizophrenia and seemingly becomes possessed, leading her to experience prophetic visions. When mushrooms a vengeful Misty had intended to use to poison Ben end up being eaten by the entire group, the girls begin to hallucinate and follow Lottie's cult-like orders. They attack Travis at first trying to have sex with him, then treating him like prey to hunt. When the girls catch Travis, Lottie orders Shauna to slice his throat. Fortunately, Nat arrives in time to save Travis, and the two go off in search of Travis's missing younger brother, Javi. The next morning, coming down from their mushroom-induced high, the girls are forced to reckon with their actions from the night before. Jackie publicly admonishes her teammates' actions and calls out her best friend Shauna for sleeping with her boyfriend Jeff. Shauna stands up for herself, tired of playing Jackie's sidekick, and the team rallies around her. Abandoned by her friends and teammates, Jackie decides to sleep outside of the cabin and unfortunately succumbs to hypothermia in the night. Lottie then successfully kills a bear, and with loyal followers Misty and Van by her side, places the bear's heart on an altar in the woods. 25 years later, the survivors of the crash have escaped the wilderness and are trying to move on with their lives, but they are all still haunted by the things they were forced to do to survive. Shauna Shipman is now a dissatisfied stay-at-home mom, having a strained relationship with her husband Jeff and rebellious teenage daughter Callie. Thaisa Turner is running for the New Jersey State Senate, but is struggling to keep the details of her past a secret from the press. Misty Quigley is a geriatric nurse who ruthlessly manipulates people to get her way, and Nat Scatorcio is fresh off a stay in rehab, but struggling to remain sober. When all of the women receive a postcard with a mysterious symbol from their past, they come together to uncover who sent the postcards and why. Not wanting the secrets of her past ruining her political aspirations, Thaisa hires a woman named Jessica Roberts to pose as a journalist to see if any of the survivors were willing to talk. Thaisa and her wife Simone also struggle with their young son Sammy, who begins drawing disturbing images and is haunted by a woman in a tree outside his window. But it turns out that woman is in fact Thaisa herself, who begins sleepwalking and committing strange acts. Fearing for her family, Thaisa encourages Simone to take Sammy and leave. To discover who sent the mysterious postcards, Nat and Misty go off in search of Travis Martinez. When the women arrive at Travis's ranch, they discover that he has been murdered and his bank account drained. Nat then seeks out the help of her high school friend Kevin, who now works as a police officer and has long since harbored a crush on her, to investigate the murder. Kevin discovers that Travis was killed in a mysterious ritual, and as he grows closer to Nat through the investigation, the two begin sleeping together. The Yellow Jacket survivors are all then blackmailed for $50,000, or else all of their secrets from their past will be exposed. Misty suspects that reporter Jessica Roberts may be the blackmailer and kidnaps her to demand answers. 
When Shauna catches her husband at a hotel with another woman, she begins having an affair of her own with a man named Adam. As Shauna and Adam grow closer, Shauna begins to suspect that Adam isn't who he says he is. Catching him in a lie about having gone to art school and discovering a book about the Yellow Jacket's plane crash in his apartment. This leads Shauna to suspect that Adam is in fact the blackmailer. Despite his claims of innocence, Shauna stabs him to death. After confessing the affair and murder to her husband, Jeff explains that he had never cheated on Shauna. The woman she saw him with at the hotel was actually a loan shark named Bianca he owes a lot of money to, and it was actually Jeff who was the blackmailer. Jeff professes his love for Shauna and promises to take full responsibility for Adam's death, but Shauna has a different plan. Telling her fellow survivors that Adam was in fact the blackmailer, the women help cover up the murder and dispose of the body. Realizing she was wrong about Jessica, Misty lets the fake reporter go, only to then murder her with poison. As the season comes to a close, Thaisa is elected senator, but Simone discovers a secret bloody shrine in their home where their dog Biscuit has been sacrificed. Nat is then kidnapped by a mysterious group of strangers. Moments before she can be warned that Lottie is still alive and that she was the person who took all of Travis's money. 